so this match, apparently uh, I have been told that it, it is in Leo's favor just because of his, you know, just his buttons and his defensive pressure. And the fact that Leo has a DP. Oh, that's really bad on Patrick when he opts to burst out. And Patrick gets the Mappa kick. And then, oh, both players opting to go for their burst uh, because these... Both of these characters, uh, they have really high offensive um, pressure. They and they have, have really high really high damage output. Monster confirmed. Easily. <laughs> oh, and Himeka with the sweep and Patrick with the Mappa punch to call him out on it. Nice by, by Himeka to call out on the uh, backdash cross-up. Himika with the offensive pressure gets a knockdown. YRC fireball. Ooh, nice blitz by 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 Patrick. Player two. Patrick gets the overhead. And Ooh, Patrick overhead. with the offensive pressure. And he may kill with the surprise DP. Ooh, good RC. Oh, and another surprise DP by He may cut YRC Rekka into Oh, and another DP. Everyone's even a nice backdash cancel grab by uh by Patrick. That is so with backdash cancel with Slayer. So ba Slayer's so he does not have a dash. He has a teleport, and you can actually cancel his backdashes into other normals. And with his backdash, he has invincibility frames. So you can cancel his backdash into other specials to get the invincibility frames. Kind of like a substitute DP. Yes. Yes. You get a little bit more flexibility with that, but it doesn't really uh, depends on the situation how much he can get off of it. Right, and the, and the timing is very very strict. Like you have to be really on point because if you're a little off on your backdash canceling, um, people can just throw out a super meaty normal or a special and they can just blow you up for it. Right. So he, oh, he may cut with the double parry to call Patrick out, and he'll get the, the knockdown. Yo, goes for the low, Patrick, I'm gonna go for burst. I agree with that completely. Ooh, oh, good throw. Nice, nice throw by, by Leo. And one of like the silent buffs that they gave Leo in Revelator is the fact that they extended his air throw window oh, by really? so much. It, that's why like it feels like you're getting air thrown by him like half the screen. Uh, oh, and another backdash cancel grab by 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 Boom Cube. Now he's in huge favor of the offensive pressure. He may cut with a ballsy uh, run up grab. Now he's in the offensive. Oh, and he may cut with the crouching slash. And, oh, no. Crouching heavy slash, I mean. It does not get the conversion. Now he may cut with the offensive pressure. Oh, and nice call out by Patrick. Oh, standing slash. Ooh, Patrick getting the backdash uh, cross up at that point. And he's able to seal it out game one. Nice. So, so honestly, this, this, I feel like with this matchup, whoever gets the first knockdown pretty much will win, especially with Leo. Because with Slayer, his only wake up options are Blitz Shield and just backdash cancel shenanigans. Whereas Leo, he has a flash kick, which is really good. The heavy slash one has 14 frames of invincibility. Right. Not, um, not only that, but Leo, it seems, has a better Oki, safer pressure out of his setups. Right, right. Especially with the fireball that he does. If he does fireball wire, see, there's really nothing I, I, I personally think Slayer can do about it. Right. Look at that damage. Boom. Slayer. Oh, a nice call out by, by Boom Cube with the, the Blitz Shield. He may cut with another ballsy flash kick. Ooh, nice dust by He may cut. And he'll get the full combo here. Yes. Stand up. What's the mix up? Hits the low. Oh, Ooh, what? Tried to, tried to bait the burst. He tried to bait the burst with the shield. Oh, my goodness. When in doubt, when Harry <laughs> fails, do it again. Yeah. Do it again. Seems like the model for Leo players. <laughs> Another ballsy flash kick by Himika. Nice spacing by Himika, not going in and reading the uh, the, the backdash cancel fight on Luke's part. Both players are neutral, and I'll try to get, try to get a feel. And Ooh. I think this is where Slayer has the tough time when getting in against Leo, is the fact that Leo has fireballs, and especially the fact that Leo has 25% meter. Like, you can make that a very safe option for pressure. Right. Now Himika with... Oh, a nice overhead by Leo from... Uh, he may cut from his backdash dash cancel. Now throwing fireballs will cancel out the backdash can or backdash stance. And he may cut really playing it safe now. Oh, and he may cut went in. Oh, what? what? Wow, that hitbox. Oh my goodness. No one is ready for that. No one is ready for those flash kicks. Yeah, this, this does seem like a really hard matchup for Slayer. Um, Leo's got big long range normals. He's got DP. Uh, to, Beat out anti airs, he's got the fireball to force him into the air, and he has uh, 
the guard point. Yeah, several yes. of his normals. Yes, he's got a, he's got an auto cancel. He's got a guard cancel too. Um, which Ooh. teammate cutter is not really prone to use that. Evil Fox is more prone to use. It. He's more mastered in using auto guard cancels um, right. compared to compared to teammate cut. Now Patrick with sizable last week gets the hard knockdown. Crosses up with. Mothbus, heavy slash. He make a oh nice Ooh. bird base, burst base by uh, base bird, burst base, bird, <laughs> <Base> derp, derp. <laughs> oh, what a grab by Boom Cube and nice. Wow, nice confirm, nice confirm, easy confirm to get the get the round. Pipey is a really good anti air slayer, the slayer, and he kind of needs that with just I don't know, just lack of his mobility. Oh my just god, like, nice bird space, bird, blah, blah. Base by, yeah, by Boom Cube. <laughs> Another ballsy flash kick by He may cut. Gets the Rekka cross up. Gets the knockdown. Fireball YRC. Nice. Good frame of mind by He may cut to read the blitz. Oh, and back dash cancel. Mappa is by, by Boom Cube. Now he'll get the full combo. And here comes Ooh. the mix up. And he missed. I don't know if that was intentional or not to get the OTG. Nice block by He may cut. That is safe. And he gets the overhead. He may cut was pressing the button. Probably trying to bait grab. Very nice. So uh, match point. So now match point for for, for, Boom, for Cube. Boom Cube. If he wins this, he gets to go into grand finals. We are at Midwest Championship 2016. Nice. Boom Cube is very good at that. Um, that I've noticed from compared to a lot of slayers that he will backdash or he will dash in between like normals to bait you out and just punish you for it. And he make up with the offensive pressure. This is a very scary moment. Oh, he gets the wires. He waits early, but gets the grab. Fake overhead. Good block by Boom Cube. Wow. That, that was so tricky. impressed. That was oh, tricky. So, so the Rekka YRC in the 6K, the 6K with Leo is thrown invincible. So Patrick, so Boop, so Hinika was trying to read a, a just a mash grab attempt from Boop, but Boop was playing it very safe, not hitting a button. And nice 2P to read the uh, cross up uh, back dash by, by Boom Cube. So Himika has to win this to get one more round in to stay alive in this tournament series in the winner side here at the Midwest Championship 2016. Ooh. Nice overhead by Boom Cube. No questionable defense, but questionable defense. to get out of the corner and put Boom Cube in instead. Good block by Boom Cube. Nice move by Boom Cube. Good block by Himika. And this is going to be really here bad. Go. This is going to hurt put quite a corner. bit. Coast to coast. Grab by Hime Cut. Oh, and oh, he was trying to go for a fake overhead into a low. Yeah. Hime Cut opting for a dead angle. Oh, Hime Cut with the offensive. Ooh. Hime Cut with the grab. What burst with the parry? So ballsy. I'm really surprised Hime is opting to keep that burst. Mm. Patrick with the jump. D. Jump normal. I think the it's D. D. I think it's D. Jump D. Jump D. Jump D. Jump D. Pulls it out. Patrick on match point to go into grand finals. Oh. Nice jump out by by Hime Cut. He'll get a full combo, not in the corner. I'll have to go for the record cross up. Baba, that's not safe. And cannot get, quite get the punish. Ooh. Into the corner. Ooh, nice fireball by Hime Cut. Oh, what just happened? Oh my goodness. So, probably Patrick has read that he was going to do a cross up and happened to go for a cross up or a dash. Now, he may cut with the offensive pressure. Now he's going to get sizable damage. YRC Fireball. What's the mix up? Boom Cube blocks it low. And here's a scramble. Another ballsy DC by he may cut. 6P? Needy 6P. But he can't really close it out. Oh my gosh, this could be anybody's game. Oh, is YRC. Wow. First. Yes, first. Ooh. Mappa, that's oh not safe. Oh, wow. my goodness. Oh. oh, my goodness. And a Mappa to close it out. So, good stuff wow. for both players. And now, it's going to be Evil Fox oh, versus Hime Cut. So, it's going to be a run back. Wow. It's going to be a sizable run back. So, Hime Cut initially put Evil Fox into losers. So this is going to be quite interesting to see now that now the Evil Fox has climbed his way up to losers and has pretty much been on the sideline, yeah, just three out of five, just checking everything out, adopting accordingly. Ooh, so something that happened in that last match uh, yes. seems questionable. It seemed like uh, when Boom Cube did the backdash uh, into the special, even though uh, he may went through him with the dash, it didn't seem like the special autocorrected to compensate for the fact that he went through. I'm not sure if that's what happened. But 
It was strange. It's <laughs> a lot of like scrappy moments in this game that really doesn't make sense still up to this point. <laughs> but I, I do remember what you're talking about, and I really don't have an answer for that. <laughs> I guess the fact that like I guess Leo was on the same, I guess Hinika was still on the same side. Right. Or, or I guess, and then it just, it just, I don't know. Maybe Boom Cube was too fast with his reactions or with his inputs, and just it just didn't properly autocorrect. Right. So I, that's a, probably what happened. Such a fast-paced game, it's really hard sometimes to really interpret what's going on, especially in instances, uh, unexpected instances like that. Um, but we are going to get right into Losers Finals with Hime Cup versus Leo Fox. This has been a Leo tournament. 